Hello friends, I'm going to walk you through the steps required to play all your SteamVR games on Oxalis Quest 2 wirelessly using a free software or open source software called as uh, ALVR. To do that, uh, we need to first download ALVR. I have the link in the description. I have put all these links in the description. Uh, so I'm going to go to the site so I can download the software. Okay, so it has two softwares. One is the client for the headset. The other one is for the server. I will download the client first and then the server one. And then to complete this, we need a package because we need platform tools, ADB platform tool that will allow you to install this file onto your headset. So I'm going to download that. Oops, what did I do? Okay, I copied the wrong one, but it's okay. Uh, this is the redistributable that is needed for this to work. So we can download this at this time as well. Uh, if it are 32 bits of uh, Windows you're running, you can use this. And if it is a 64 bit Windows, you can use this. Uh, download this, install the runtime from Microsoft. Once you have done that, you can go back to this link from where you can download the platform tools. Download it. Okay, that's downloaded. So I have all the three softwares I need. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure my account has the ability to enable developer mode. To do that, I need to go to Oxalis website, log in with my credentials. Once I have logged in, copy paste this address. It'll directly take you to the page where you can go ahead and uh, log in. So it'll ask you to put in your organization name. It's a unique name, so make sure it's not already used. Give it a name, and then you put a check mark on I understand, and then you say submit. Then it'll ask you to agree to the licensing terms and agreement. You put a check mark there, and once you've finished the process, you're all done. Go ahead and close the browser. And the second part is where you need to extract these files. First, I'm gonna extract the ALVR server to the desktop, deleted that. Then next is the platform tools, extract here. SKD007 is the password. Okay, here it is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this file, the APK file into this folder. And also this folder into this folder. Okay, so now I have these two files in here folders in here uh, I don't want this one again anymore okay so I have this file so I would suggest you move this to any location you want before you start working on it all right so I'm gonna do it from the desktop because I don't care because I want to remove everything and go back to my virtual desktop version which is much better than this so the first thing to do is install the ADB driver so ADB driver is here you can just right click on it say install done once that is done uh, you have to go to your mobile app on the mobile app you should enable developer mode so I'm gonna show you some screenshots on how to do this Once you have done that, you can come back to this folder and run this command prompt shell. This is PowerShell, run this administrator, CLS to clear the screen. Now I need to be inside this folder because these are the files I now need to install. So I'm gonna copy the address, CD, change directory, space, codes, I don't need codes, but I'm just putting in codes because if in case your folder has a gap of space in it, it needs the codes, okay? Okay, now we are inside the folder. Now, do the backward slash ADB space B devices. So since your headset is connected, you should see the device, but for you, it should say unauthorized because you haven't done a step that I've already done. So when it says unauthorized over here, go back to your headset and you will see this screen
So once on that screen, you put a check mark on always allow and uh, always allow and then click on approve or allow. Come back to your computer, run the command. You should see the device ID with the device. Now you're ready. Open this readme file, copy the command. Go back to your command, paste it and enter success that's it close this open the steam vr i'm oh, sorry alvr server and run this application first time when you run it it's going to ask i'm going to close this browser i don't want that uh system requirement blah 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 supported gpus uh if you have a vega 64 or vega 56 it still works but as per the support it says it doesn't because they think that it's not powerful enough, but I'm playing all the games and I'm getting like 50 frames per second, which is more than enough for me to play comfortably. I don't have, I don't feel any, any anything wrong, all right? Click next. If you have not downloaded the redistributable, the, the one from the link here, it just tells you the same thing. Click on it, go to the same link and download the appropriate version and install that. If you're installing it, better you close everything and reopen. Next, add firewall rule, added. This only works for Windows firewall. If you have your own firewall, like if you have Norton or something like that, you have to add the rules to it. This only works for Windows firewall. If you have your third party firewalls, you have to add an exception for the headset's IP address to be freely able to communicate with this computer over Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi specification, I would say anything beyond AC1200 is good. AC1200 works perfectly. If it is AC1900, it is much better. And if you have faster Wi-Fi, it is even better. And you need it 5 gigahertz, not the 2.5. Okay, then you click Next. Now I need to register the ALVR driver as well. There we go. It's added now. Next medium next compatibility next close so once you do this you go to settings and change the audio to your headset and then go to settings oh, sorry going to monitor again now it's time for you to go to your headset and open the alvr app on your headset let me do that Okay, I'm on my headset now. It's asking me to, okay, what is that? Confirm grid. Okay, I go to the library and then uh, I open ALVR. I'm putting a small clip video to show you how to do that. So once I do that on the headset, it will tell me ALVR version 12.5.0, open ALVR on PC and click on trust next to the client entry. So here's the video on how to do that on your headset. Okay, so once you have done that, now you can see you have the client showing up on your console. So you click on trust. Once you do this, automatically the ALVR is going to start your Steam VR and then it's going to open your Oxalis app that is installed on the computer. If you don't have that, prior to all this, go ahead and install the Oxalis app on your computer and make sure that is configured. Okay. There we go, the Steam VR just started. It's opening the Oxalis Quest uh, software. Now on the headset, I can actually see my headset. You know, like, sorry, the Steam uh, library, it's loading up now. Okay, there we go. Now I have the, okay, there we go. That's pretty cool.
Yeah. Okay, I'm just uh, trying to minimize all of this. Okay, it's connected. Okay, so if you want to increase the clarity on the video, you can go to video and then change it to like 100. So there you have it, folks. That is how you configure it. If you have questions, please uh, post on the comment section and I will try to reply to as many as possible. Thank you.